What do I post on Facebook? Hey, it's Jaime with Echo Real Estate Advisors. Welcome to the channel that provides actionable content to help your business grow. Don't forget to subscribe as every month I give away one of my Facebook, Google, and YouTube courses away for free as a thank you for being a subscriber. All right, promo over. Chances are that you have heard, are hearing, and will hear, get on Facebook, do social media, do some either advertising or post or share or do something on social media because you're gonna be left behind. If you're not on Facebook, then you will be left behind. If you're not on Instagram, you're gonna be left behind. If you're not, blah, 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 blah. You've heard it, you, you're hearing it, and you will hear it. So let's focus on Facebook. What are the five activities that you can do every single day to not be left behind? First thing, post on stories. Regardless of what it is, you want to have a story thread going, whether that's you went to Starbucks or whether you went to a house and some cool feature just happened to pop out, um, take a picture of the kitchen and put a pole up, yes or no, Put a, take a picture of the master bath, to put a pole up, yes or no, Is this does this work or does it not? Take pictures of anything and everything course be reasonable with it but post something on stories is what I'm getting at post something that will bump up in front of everybody's news feed so now with stories on Facebook you get to see the stories at the top and as you scroll down a few posts later you get to see another layer of stories so be found that's that is a great opportunity for you to bump up in the rankings if you will so people see you second thing wish everybody happy birthday that is underutilized right now from a business perspective where you have a list at the right hand side on events wish everybody a happy birthday that is having a happy birthday you're going to be brought back to mind yes they are getting hundreds of posts saying happy birthday but at the end of the day you are creating that connection again when they see it they remember you whether they want to reach out to you or not that's up to that's up to them right but you get to at least have a connection with them again there's another there's a birthday strategy that i share in another video but at bare minimum just say happy birthday you open that connection and the moment that they respond back it's telling facebook hey these people actually want to hear what's going on in each other's lives so let's let's make that happen by sharing and making the post that Jaime made and be found by this person that they continue to say at least happy birthday every once in a while. So that's the second thing. Like five different posts, whether it's an image, whether it's a message, whether it's a share, like five different posts from five different people. So again, it's, it's not earth shattering. It's very simple. It just like them. Either do the like button, the... Uh, what is it the angry I don't suggest the angry one the smiling or the nervous one then comment on five different posts so as a recap stories then do the happy birthday then like five posts just the like button that that like button then comment on five different posts regardless of what it is try to avoid the whole political items or those those things that tend to get into a little bit of a heated thing, especially now. So comment on everybody's, uh, on five different posts. So you can, again, open that highway. The fifth thing, message five different friends. That means is message five different people that are your friends with, whatever it is. If you went back to high school, if you went to college, if you're our co-worker or past co-workers or whatever, stay in front of them as much as possible. So you have five likes, you have five comments, and then you have five messages. Bonus, share other people's content. This is that bonus tip. So share other people's content on your wall. The moment that you share somebody else's opinion, whether that's a post, whether that's an inspirational message, whether that's a picture, whether that's whatever, the moment you post or share their post on your wall, you are elevating them. You are promoting them 
in a way that they're gonna feel honored. Now, you don't have to do all five of these things. You don't have to do the stories. You don't have to do the happy birthday. You don't have to like all five. You don't have to do all the commenting or messaging or the bonus tip of sharing, but at least do one. Bare minimum, do one. It's not that difficult. Don't get left behind. 